What is up Diecast Resurrection fans? Today we are working on our old Smoky Unic truck here. This little ramp truck that I actually took apart a while ago. Uh, I had another project I wanted to do yesterday but we had some decals that were ordered wrong so that didn't quite work out. So I had to come up with something new. So initially I wanted to steal this ramp for another project so I took this apart. So this has been sitting around for a little while and yesterday I thought hey you know why don't we try to improve on what we already got going on? So I went into Tinkercad and I made this, which is a pretty awesome race car hauling deck. So I spent all day yesterday printing out a new deck. We got a ramp section I have to glue on because it was just too long for my printer bed. And I've got ramps. There's a couple different versions here. The grips on these ramps here are a little bit crispier looking than these ones. I can tell I didn't even cut them off the platform. And I wanted to put this on here and build us an actual smoky eunuch race hauler. Sounds awesome, right? Yeah. I'm testing out a new mic here today as well, so hopefully that helps improve the channel. There shouldn't be nearly as much background noise. So anyway, here's our styrene, and I just wanted a nice simple rail like that, just along the top. Yes, yes, so we can color match that. This will be another model available for you guys to download. I know some of you guys said in the comments that, you know, hey man, don't, don't just give your stuff away. This is super easy for me, so like, don't even worry about that. This, this isn't even an hour. I was thinking we could do a live stream one day where I just sit and design stuff. You know, you guys can give me ideas. And I'll just design junk on the fly. That may be fun. Doesn't look like much now, but once she's painted and detailed, then it'll really look like, look like something good. And then I just snip some angles in the back to make it kind of have more of a nice finished look. So it's looking real good. Just giving this a little bit of a scuff to kind of help the adhesion. Looks like we might need a little bit of a putty right here. No big deal. I made lots of room under the model here so you could have different axles, different tires. You could even run a base right down the center if you wanted to. I'm not sure how necessary that's going to be on our build today because we got this nice beautiful tab that's going to just fit right in there. We could literally put a screw. This thing looks like hell but it's going to be, it's going to be real good. I need to sort out a rear axle so I'm going to go back to some styrene again. It goes something like this. Sweet. That should work. Might be a little bit too long. Hell yeah, man. I think that's going to work out. Just fine and dandy. I'm going to take off our actual axles. And I'm going to connect this base permanently to my little model here and we're going to uh, paint that as well when we do the whole thing here. And the last thing I want to do before we paint is just clean up the model a little bit with our putty. I got a little pinhole up here, this white hole. That was the air bubble. And the seam for our ramp, I don't really care for too much. So we're going to just gonna put a little bit of putty on there and get that cleaned up. Easy. So I'm going to let that fully cure. We'll give that a little sand. We'll give this one final little rinse down. And we'll start painting this thing. Maybe while that's drying, we'll uh, put some clearance markers up here. Since this is going to be a pretty big unit once we're done. And maybe I'll put a couple down the side here as well. And cut up some styrene here. These ones are left a little bit longer, but I'm going to shape them after the glue sets. 
All right, well that's drying. I'm gonna move on and start tackling this putty. Just trying to hide that seam. I do plan on clear coating this, so it's gonna hide a lot. I'm gonna try to get rid of this seam as best I can. It's pretty good. It's pretty good right there. I've been playing a lot of American Truck Simulator these days and I've really been getting into the cab overs. So I kind of have a hankering to build one of those on the channel. The only cab over body I have at the moment is from the, I don't remember. I did build some ramps for this. They're not going to work currently with this model. It's because I overestimated what I needed to make a hinge here. So, as you can see, this fits right in here just perfectly, except these pieces I have are just too small for me to actually drill and get a hinge point in there. So, next time I got to make these a little bit bigger. So that kind of sucks, but the ramps do exist and when I do release the, the actual model to you guys for printing, I'm going to have the ramps figured out. So they are here. I know everyone's going to comment on them, tell me to build ramps for it. They're here. It's just, this is a four hour print and this model printed out too nice for me just to start over just for the ramps. So I'm going to have to re-engineer those a little bit. And then they'll be working for any of you guys who want to download this model and make your own. Once I release the files for you guys, uh, if you could post your designs, your creations on the, the subreddit, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see what you do with them. We like lots of lights. Lots of lights. So I want to get these last couple on, then we'll uh, clean this up one last time, and then we'll go to the paint booth. All right, I think we are ready. I'm gonna give this one last good scrub in the sink with some soap and water, make sure all the dust is off, it's nice and clean, everything. And then I will meet you in the paint booth. Using a little Steinol Res Gray. All right, now I want to try to match the gold that we got going on on the roof of the truck as best I can. So what I was thinking is I'm going to use my gold plating and I'm going to add a little bit of quicksilver just to kind of dull it down a little bit. And hopefully this works out. So you can see that gold is just too strong right now so hoping a couple drops of that is just going to mellow it out a little bit I need a stir stick that's kind of doing it maybe a little bit more I've never actually mixed these together before oh yeah that's doing it it's going to be a little bit prettier than what's on the actual truck but 
Hell yeah, that's what we want. So what I've done here is I've masked off the rail and we're gonna do a gold stripe along the bottom here. I think that should be enough little kind of highlights to tie this into the truck. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Stuff doesn't look like it wants to mix very well together. It kind of looks like oil and water at the moment. <laughs> we'll see how it sprays. Hey, yeah, green light, how did you get your gold to look so dull? Yeah, ours is way flashier. But it still should look okay. Once I clear coat it, I don't know what's going to happen. I've never clear coated over the gold before, so we'll see. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and detail up all our little lights. Get those all lit up in amber, and I'll do our tail lights. We'll give this a clear coat and we'll put everything together. Look at that. I wish my gold matched a little bit better now that I'm seeing the two side by side. This has got a little bit of rose in it. So I might go back and redo the stripe. I don't know, it looks pretty sweet the way it is. Oh, it's a big unit. I love it. I got the matching Camaro in the back. I got a set of tires stored up here. Swap this bad boy out. This thing's taking a little bit of uh, spoiler damage, so let's not worry about that at the moment. Still got to figure out the ramps, but I think this is uh, clearly going to be a working model. And you can put any kind of cab in front of this thing. No problem. Super cool. I love this 3D printer stuff. If I were to change anything, I think I might shorten this back a little bit. Might have a little bit too much overhang. And... I don't know, there might be some other little, little doodads and details we could add to this. You guys got any ideas anything else you want me to add to that let me know for sure but I think so far this is a, a winning system a winning combination for making race haulers out of pretty well any truck cab so I'm totally feeling this I hope you guys are too leave me a like if you are leave me a like if you want to see more videos like this where I 3d print things and then kind of incorporate I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!